Now, in case you're wondering what this magnificent workhorse is, it's a 1928 Lynn logging tractor, one of only three in the state of Queensland. Now, this one here is at the Laidley Pioneer Village and Museum, and this gentleman here is John Barwell, and he's also, apart from being the driver, the president of the Laidley Pioneer Village and Museum. I'm Robbie Greer, and this is my channel, Rusticated Art, and today I'm gonna to be drawing this magnificent old workhorse, the Lynn Tractor. This is part one, and I'd love you to join me. Well, today I finally decided to get around to drawing the Lynn Tractor. It's just one of those ones that I've been I've been wanting to do for a long time, but just trying to get the right picks for it. So I'm using my digital angle ruler here because there are so many different angles on this, and I, even though I'm using the grid method, it still gets pretty tricky trying to get all these different angles. So it looks like a very simple drawing, but <laughs> gee, they all look pretty simple in my mind until I start drawing them, and then. Yeah, well. Now, although I'm using a reference photo as usual, I only use the reference as a guide. So it's not going to be exactly the same as the picture I'm drawing. All I need is something just so I can uh, get it as close as I can to a Lynn tractor. I like to use all the tools I can. This makes it a little bit easier. Now, the Lynn logging tractor, as they were called officially, were built, well, um, the, well, this particular one was a 1928 model, but they were invented by a chap by the name of Holman Harry Lynn, and there's about 2,500 of them made. And they were built in Morris, uh, in New York, between 1916 and 1952. And they were a six-cylinder Waukesha engine, and then he had three speeds, and there was no creature comforts. The engine was very torquey, and if you take your foot off the clutch in top gear at idle, the five-ton Lynn just trundles away without hesitation. Now, apparently, they didn't actually come with a seat, but um, what they, they reckon that they've seen the people or the drivers that just be sitting on the the 44-gallon drum fuel tank and that was the, that's what they used for their seat so if the driver wanted a comfortable seat <laughs> well he just had to bring his own his own cushion and the Lynn had no lighting or an electrical system and there's stories of of the um, fully loaded Lynn driving back to the middle along the steep winding logging tracks on a dark stormy night Guided only by lightning flashes. Well, now that's pretty scary. And they had a top speed of seven miles per hour. It doesn't seem very fast, but that was a, a heck of a lot faster than um, the bullet teams that they replaced. Apparently, there was four of these brought into the district. And I'm told that three of them still exist. Now, I don't know whereabouts they are, but whether they're privately owned or what the story is, I'd say they would be, but I, I don't know that. You know, and they were an amazing machine, and they certainly made life a lot easier for the, for the loggers of the day. Well, once again, it's about that time where I stop talking, and depending on what part of the world you're in, Grab a glass or a cup of your favourite drink, put your feet up, listen to the relaxing music, think about the wonderful weekend ahead, and I'll see you in a few minutes.
that's most of the underdrawing done now. So I just better putting in the details and I'm sort of tossing up whether or not to put in some bushes, some foliage in the background. We'll just see how much time I have. And I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying um, bringing it to you. And if you do like it and you feel you're getting some value, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and share it with your friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that button, click on all, that way you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. And I'll leave a, a video up here that I think you'll enjoy next. Now if you're ever in the Lockyer Valley, call into the village, the Laidley Pioneer Village and Museum. They'd love to see you, and I know they'd make you feel welcome, and you can sit down and have a cup of Billy tea. <laughs> well that's about it my friends, stay safe out there, have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you in the next one, part two.